Sleeping Beauty. Once upon a time, Princess Dawn was a teenager. Do you really expect me to wear this gown? It's so last season. And what's up with this room decor? Can't we at least try to be modern? Come on, people, get with the program. Appealing, isn't she? Hmm, like a toothache. Convinced that there must be more to the world, then she beheld Princess Dawn was antsy. Dawn, sweetie, hurry. We'll be late for our morning stroll. Must we always stroll? It seems so meaningless. Can't we maybe pick up the pace a bit? How about a good saunter? Nothing new ever happens around here, moaned the frustrated princess. It's always the same boring, strolling, wandering, and overseeing. I'm so tired of it all. Why, honey, just last week you strolled from east to west instead of west to east. That was exciting. Dad! Nice whining. Yes, very well done. When I was her age, I was sweeping cinders out of fireplaces, but that's another story. Tired of her miserable lot in life, Princess Dawn flew up the stairs to her favorite attic, Tourette, and slammed the door. There goes the plaster again. Guess I'll stroll alone. Ah, peace and quiet. Slam. Annoyed beyond belief, Princess Dawn announced loudly, and to no one in particular, It's so boring around here that it's putting me to sleep. And down she went. Is she kidding? I don't think so. Maybe it's that old woman's prophecy from the beginning of the story. Yahoo! That spell worked like a charm. Indeed, all over the castle, everything stopped. Servants snored at their tasks. Meals ceased cooking, and the royal couple slumbered peacefully. Why aren't we asleep? Well, someone has to move the story along. Time passed, and still the palace slept on. Thick vines grew up the walls and covered the castle. All that was visible was the very top of the turret, where the now quiet Princess Dawn slumbered. Wow, they must have great soil and some crazy fertilizer. One day, a passing handsome prince stumbled upon the vine-covered palace. He was intrigued. How intriguing! There never seems to be a shortage of princes, does there? No, and always handsome ones, too. Feeling exceptionally brave and curious, he strode up to the gate. To his astonishment, the vines began to fall away in front of him, leading him slowly up the path to the castle door. I'm feeling exceptionally brave and curious. Ooh, I choose panicked and scared, absolutely. Once inside the palace, the handsome prince was stunned to find the sleepy scene. I'm stunned. What magic has befallen these sleepy sovereigns? Ooh, fancy language. Sure is. Guess he's well bred as well as good looking. The prince made his way slowly through the castle, peering into rooms with curiosity. Eventually, he made his way to the attic turret where Princess Dawn lay sleeping. He opened the door and dropped to his royal knees. Upon my royal knees, what exquisite beauty lies before me. And now, and wow, can she ever snore? Like a herd of royal elephants. Giddy with emotion, the handsome prince made an impulsive move. He leaned over the sleeping princess and kissed her on the forehead. Why, what has come over me? I feel so giddy and impulsive. Does he really have to repeat everything like that? I don't know, but look at the princess. Princess Dawn's eyelids began to flutter. Her snoring stopped. She opened one eye and looked around. What a crazy dream. I dreamt that something new and magical actually happened around here. Well, hello, you. What's all this? Why, you're even more exquisite when awakened by love's first kiss. Well, that was cool. Don't you think she might need to brush after being asleep so long? Curses awake already. Guess my spell needs work. The groggy princess gazed into the eyes of the handsome prince, kneeling before her. She blushed. She batted. 
She straightened her dress. She felt rested. I don't know about love, but that sure was a nice way to wake up. All over the castle, things began to perk up. Startled servants rubbed their eyes and continued their chores. The king and queen didn't skip a beat. Better call the royal plasterer. Time for my stroll, alone. While Princess Dawn was attempting to get to know her handsome admirer. What are your goals for the future? Any diseases in your family? Like to try new things? You're lovely when you're inquisitive. Be mine. Oh, bother, this guy's got it bad. Yes, but he'd better give her some space. I don't think she's ready for marriage yet. As the palace returned to life, the princess, too, began to pick up where she left off. Nice as you are, she declared firmly to the prince. You need to back off. I need to see the world before I settle down with anyone. I need an adventure. Told you. Guess a good night's sleep can only do so much. I will explore the woods, Princess Dawn announced to her concerned parents and doting prince. Don't try and stop me. But, Honeybun, you've never been past the palace gardens. Oh, let her go. It will feel like a vacation without her. Is she not the most amazing creature? And off she went. Don't let that door hit you on your way out. Oh, dear. Well, at least she's well rested. Farewell, my beloved. I shall be waiting. He's kind of getting on my nerves, too. Ever had the feeling you were being watched?'